Hey, how's it going guys? Zeta here. So we got some interesting info relating to Horizon Zero Dawn. Now we will be getting a remaster uh, for the PlayStation 5 and a PC. And due to that it's been rated by ESRB, meaning that the release of this remaster will be coming sometime soon. In fact, if we take a look at the past and how ESRB has been meet, uh, you know, making these ratings, in terms of the PlayStation Studio games, it took about minimum of 30 days to a little more than a hundred of days. So basically, if we have to think about it, it is possible that Horizon Zero Dawn may in fact be coming out <laughs> this year. <laughs> wow. Now, if we take a look back again of Horizon Forbidden West, it actually took a little more than 50 days from the rating that we got the information and then the launch of the game. So we actually have to talk a little bit about why. What is the reasoning on of getting a Horizon Zero Dawn remaster. Do we actually need it? So there are some things that I can definitely see this remaster getting and improving and get, giving some additions, because there's some things I definitely want to mention that I believe definitely need to be implemented in this remaster. Because honestly, I don't believe just having a visual touch up and improvements to the lighting and few very small features and adaptability and accessibility and, and quality of life features it needs to be more it genuinely does need to be more now i get that this is just a remaster so we not should expect these big leaps but i think one of the main component that i believe that horizon zero dawn had and it was actually problematic is that forbidden west kind of fixed the issue and if they take the lessons and they study from the Forbidden West and implement it in here, I think that will be a benefit for the game. Now, I'm talking about the conversations. So I feel like it needs to be more on the level of Forbidden West. I kind of hope that this would happen and I don't really expect it to be honest with you because th again, this is a remaster. It's not a remake. You know, there were some talks as well a few years back that Horizon Zero Dawn will be getting a remake instead. Now that was a very odd decision to make and for it to get a remake, seriously. But since, look, it's been, well, seven and a half years since the release of the Horizon uh, Zero Dawn. Just to think about that is insane. <laughs> and now we're expecting to see a remaster for the PlayStation 5 and of course the PC. And, okay, improvement to the lighting system. Overhaul textures and character models that can match to those of the Horizon Forbidden West and perhaps even improvements there too. Now, focusing on bringing over the accessibility, it's like already touched on a little bit, and the quality of life features from the sequel, and like, for example, uh, one of the biggest one I feel that definitely needs to be in a, this remaster is having no animations on whenever you want to pick up automatically, right? Just while you're going through the world, there are things to grasp and just things that you can collect. Just don't let our character stop, you know, and taking her time to collect these things and just let her do it automatically. I love this feature. It just makes it seamless and I don't have to pay attention and I don't have to worry about this sort of stuff. And... Again, maybe transmog system. I believe that Horizon Zero Dawn never really had a proper transmog system. So perhaps this is actually a good welp welcoming feature that could be implemented in this remaster. Now, of course, there definitely should, at least we should expect some updates to the machines that we have seen in Horizon Zero Dawn that have made a return in Forbidden West. And now with this remaster, maybe they can take lessons from Forbidden West and bring it back to this remaster. And so I think they should update some of the machines, the AI, the learnings of that as well. And just in general, how these machines machines can look. Just make them look as more realistic and look, look more... How, what's the word? Frightening is than ever before? <laughs> It's just, honestly, still is a question, what is the reasoning of this getting rem uh, remaster? And I, I think it's okay, personally for me. I always like Horizon Zero Dawn. I am looking forward to see more of it. I want to play it, yes, for sure. I will be getting it if there, you know, it really depends how much it'll cost as well. Because I feel like they're kind of, oh goodness, I'm, I'm kind of worried. Because this, since this is remastered, it's not like you can just upgrade it for free. You don't pay 10 bucks extra to get an upgrade. I don't believe so. I don't know. Maybe it will be something like 40, 50 euros. Oh, goodness me. I'm worried about that, honestly. Now, it could be announced sometime during the state of play that's 
well some could be likely be happening sometime next week and uh, there's some rumors that state of play should be happening in september the 24th i don't know how much if that is really true and but still sony are is very very unpredictable and a lot of people just don't know what they're thinking at that point so it's possible they might come even sooner than we're expecting maybe even later than we, than we hope but nevertheless it's just that we'll still have to wait right it is possible that it, this remaster may not be everything that we're hoping for and all the my kind of features and wish list that i want to see within this remaster and it just could be simple touch up in a few updates like in the visuals and the performance and just that uh, honestly that will be very disappointing but we can hope <laughs> All right, guys, that's all I wanted to you know, have a little bit of conversation for today. Thank you so much for watching. I do apologize for not uploading for the past two, three days because i actually been playing a lot of... Oh, God. Well, two games, actually. Old games, mind you. I've been playing Black Ops 4. I'm trying to get that 100% because I'm, I'm in the process. I'm almost done. I feel like in a few more days I will be able to get that uh, plat Not just a platinum, but 100%. I'm gonna post it down in the community tab page guys if you want to take a look at my platinum when I'll get it uh, I think I should get it by the time maybe next week maybe a few days I'll say not even next week and the other game I'm playing as well is sleeping dogs Yeah, unbelievable because I actually played sleeping dogs on PlayStation 3 it was many years ago my goodness 2012 I believe it came out and now I'm playing once again in 2024. Ah, what a fantastic game, but it's so damn outdated, unfortunately. It really aged. It definitely aged. I wouldn't say it uh, aged badly, though. Nevertheless, I will make uh, about the Sleeping Dogs a video about that, so I'm, please do look forward to it. I'm going to have a, more or less of an updated review for Sleeping Dogs, so I'm looking forward to it. Alright, like and subscribe. See you guys all, and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day.